Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Brittany and I take a look at the tools and systems marketed to photographers and creative small business owners. I find interesting tech, dig into it a little bit and report back with what I find so that others can stay informed without committing to a system prematurely. If that sounds like your kind of thing, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Studio Ninja says it's the world's most user-friendly studio management software. So I figured I would put that to the test and try it out. I've never used Studio Ninja before, so I'm going in as green as green can be, but if they're as user-friendly as they say, I think I'll do just fine. What I'm hoping to accomplish during my time with this system is to set up a new client, create a job for them, send an invoice, and send a contract. That's it, just a basic workflow that will allow me to get a feel for everything from the user interface to some of the available tools. And if I can get that accomplished in just an hour or so, that'll be awesome. As I move through the Studio Ninja system, I may do something in a way that doesn't align with how you would do it, which is why I always encourage everyone to try these systems out for yourself so that you can see if they would fit your personal workflow. Studio Ninja offers a seven day free trial, which is a little tight, but I'll talk more about that later. If you do try them out, let me know how it goes in the comments. When first logging into my Studio Ninja account, I met with a walkthrough of the different parts of the dashboard. I originally had planned on not using any tutorials, but this is a built-in part of the new user experience, so I wanted to respect that. Each new navigational element brings up a different onboarding tour card, making it so that our first foray in the system is chock full of information. The whole workspace is really clean and they provide some demo items that allow us to feel like the system already has some life to it, instead of just dropping us into a blank canvas and leaving us to our own devices. The information is clearly laid out, there's not an overwhelming amount of things pulling our eye on the dashboard, and it feels really welcoming and ready for us to dive in. I am someone who does get visually exhausted rather quickly, so this dashboard having the right amount of information, in my opinion, is a huge thumbs up. I will say one thing that does bug me, and possibly only me, is that I can't seem to find a way to close this bar at the bottom of the page. It's not super distracting, but I just wish there was a way for me to fully see my screen instead of having this banner always there. It probably was designed to be a bit of a nuisance in order to make users act, but that tactic isn't gonna be working today, buddy. Besides that though, the UI has me feeling optimistic about my crafting abilities. I'm feeling pretty much in the middle of being excited and nervous to see how creating in the system goes. I kick things off by first turning my contract into a template. There's lots of text variables for us to use and even some links we can drop into the contract if we want. After creating the contract template, we're taken to the templates page in the settings. And this is the one part that made me feel a bit whelmed. At first, I assumed everything in the sidebar needed immediate attention, but that's not the case. Studio Ninja highlights the most important setup steps right at the top, which builds trust and reassured me that I don't have to tackle everything at once. Just focus on these four steps and the rest can come later. I bring this up not as a flaw, but to show how the platform guides users through what could otherwise feel like a lot. While I was getting my client set up, I realized I had forgotten what the system defines as a lead and job. I selected job and then noticed in the client file that what I actually wanted was a lead. And I was really surprised to see how easy it was to make that switch right from the workflow checklist. The basic process goal I had was incredibly simple to work through. I could attach my contract to the invoice, create an invoice template for future use, and save it all to the client in just a few clicks and clacks of my keyboard. Even though I was exploring, I felt very at ease with what I was testing and doing. I don't know if that's because I've been trying out a lot of different CRMs, but this one felt refreshingly straightforward to settle into. I'm not really sure how to label this next point. It's not really a trick, so 
Maybe it's a tip, but if at any point you think the system might have lost something you were in the process of making, like for instance, if you were creating an invoice and wanted to make it a template and you thought that in making the template, it closed the original invoice without saving, check to make sure Studio Ninja didn't stealthily open up a new tab to save the template, while also keeping your original document window available. All in all, the total time to go from blank slate to send off was about an hour and 15 minutes. It was very smooth from beginning to end. And what I really, really loved about it the most is that it's all photographer centric. There's no sifting through templates designed for an entirely different business type or paying for features that we'll never use in our business. It's all very much designed for us, and that is truly invaluable. I enjoy the simplicity of the dashboard, the color-coded organization of the workflow, and the elegant look of the client portal. I'm not entirely sure why the invoice is showing up in two spots within the client portal. I'm assuming it's because I attached the contract to the invoice, but other than that, all the items are presented really nicely, and I think clients would be able to navigate their portal without issue. Now, about that seven day free trial. Could a photographer learn Studio Ninja and decide if it's right for them in a week? Sure, it is a very lovely and easy system to learn, but would I prefer a 10 to 14 day window for systems of this caliber? Absolutely. I'm sure I don't have to say this, but I will. Service-based professionals don't always have the luxury to deep dive into new software on demand. Our time comes in scattered pockets between shooting, editing, admin tasks, and dinner with family. Oh no. So while seven days sounds reasonable, it often ends up feeling less like a helpful trial period and more like it's adding to the decision-making pressure cooker. To give some benefit of the doubt to these systems, I get why shorter trials exist. They create urgency, reduce support load, and help convert serious users quickly. I'm sure the decision is backed by market research and analysis. That said, I'm not asking for anything wild like a 30-day trial. Just something like 10 days would go a long way. And also there are some other CRM systems already implementing a 14-day free trial. For me, single-digit day trials always feel a little rushed and a bit out of touch with real lifetime constraints. However, I am biased. I'm team user through and through. I want systems to be accessible, not something that forces a business owner to sacrifice their limited free time just to make a decision. But I will step off my soapbox now and turn it over to you. What is your ideal trial length for a CRM system like this one? Thank you so much for tuning in to this little jaunt in the Studio Ninja platform. If you are a Studio Ninja user, what are some of your favorite features? Also, if there's anything else you'd like me to check out with this system, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that little bell so that you know whenever I release something new. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.